What engagement has the Minister had with Bridgend County Borough Council on the regeneration of cultural venues? Well, thank you, Ranka Davis, uh, for that question. And although I've not had any direct engagement with Bridgend County Borough Council, uh, I visited Blind Gero Working Men's Club in November and heard firsthand about the work being done to widen access to arts and culture across the county borough. And it is clearly a very valued resource in the community. Thank you, Minister. I attended last Saturday the amazing production by the Bridgend Youth Theatre of We Will Rock You in the Grand Pavilion Porth Call in the constituency of my friend Sarah Murphy, MS. After the stand innovation for those talented youngsters, there were some really emotional speeches at the final curtain call, as it was also the curtain coming down for a couple of years on a major refurbishment and expansion of this iconic venue, which has hosted so much talent over the years, including the legendary transatlantic telephone link-up between the miners of Eisteddfod Choirs and the singer, actor and civil rights campaigner Paul Robeson. It demonstrated the power of song to unite campaigners and performers across the seas and against those dark forces. Now, my stake town hall is also undergoing a major multi-million pound refurbishment. It's another iconic venue, hosted so much arts and entertainment, including former Californian Governor Arnie Schwarzenegger in a bodybuilding contest, but also local choirs and musical groups, and huge political rallies, fundraising meetings for the fight against Franco and in support of, uh, of striking miners. So would she therefore commit to continue to work in partnership with Bridgen County Borough Council to help these venues thrive and survive for generations to come, noting that they're not only the beating heart of our culture and entertainment, but so often the showcase for our progressive values of internationalism and solidarity which are enshrined in the communities of South Wales. Well, can, can I thank uh, Hugh Aracka Davis for that supplementary question? And he is absolutely right, of course. If you go anywhere across the South Wales Valleys, you will find these institutions. I have them in my own constituency that, that hosted uh, Keir Hardy and the suffragettes and, and so on. So, you know, wherever we go, we will see these iconic and historic buildings that have contributed so much to our history and our communities. And I absolutely commend the, uh, the lead that the, 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 the authorities like Bridgend County Borough Council have taken to invest in those local cultural venues. Uh, you mentioned uh, the, uh, the Maesteg Town Hall, the amount of money that Bridgend has put into that, that the Welsh Government has put into that, the Arts Council of Wales has put into that, alongside uh, the, 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 the upcoming redevelopment of the pavilion in Porthgore, uh, and of course, the, the, the Blangaru Miners Institute that I, that I visited with you uh, last year. And, 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 and amongst all of that, of course, you have the amazing Awen Cultural Trust that is working to deliver the, the, the kind of goals that we're seeking to deliver through, um, through our cultural support uh, to, to develop the, um, the Wellbeing Future Generations Act uh, objectives of making sure that we, that we, that we have um, a cultural, a thriving cultural society. None of that is easy against the backdrop that we're currently facing, the financial backdrop that we're currently facing that's been set out by the Minister of the Economy very clearly. But within the, the scope that we have, there is still so much that we can do if we're working with partners that are willing to, to work with us and, and deliver those cultural benefits.